this is the Sets podcast. Please do like, do subscribe. It is free. Tell us, I met somebody and mm. about five people in fact at different locations. Yeah. And they said, hey, of course, we've watched the, this podcast. So, do you subscribe? I said, no. Can you subscribe? I don't want money taken from my account. I said, no. There's no money. No, involved. it's free. We Just subscribe. Free, yeah, it is yes, free. Yes. So, we urge everybody to subscribe. <coughs> Today, I'm telling of a powerhouse. A powerhouse indeed. Uh, yes, 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 yes. A, a, a woman who sets the social media streets alive all the time, yeah. Charles. She says one word and the country goes insane. Yes. Yes, Mtlakas. The country trends. <laughs> exactly, it trends. Yeah. Yeah. She's a social commentator. She is a poet. Uh, she's very colorful in as far as her character is concerned. And she says what she likes. Steve because to say she writes what she likes. She says what she likes, Mtlakas. Yeah. And she does not hold back as far as her views about her country and everything else are concerned. Uh, we bring to you Usis Nonsikelelo Mazwai, one of my sister. Brother Ujan. I'm alright, my dear. How are you? Welcome to the to the show. Thank you for podcast. having me, guys. I'm not used to shaking hands because of not only COVID, COVID. but okay. men when they go to the toilet, they don't like to wash their hands. <laughs> so our space, our, I enjoy our gender. Is. <laughs> has anybody from within your family, be it your father or your sisters, has anybody ever told you whatever you may have said on Twitter is too much? Yes, of Did course. Is there one specific thing oh. that you said and they said no? But come on, I'm Jalo. We ain't a man, I'm Jalo. We ain't a man. I'm Jalo, Jay. It's even a case where I'm like, leave me alone now. No. Hey. And I just block them all. Because <laughs> wow. I'm like, okay. our relationship's not going to work if you follow mm. my social media account. Yeah. I, I don't tweet for you. It's not your business. Leave me alone. Well, yes. I'm mm. just. It's just that what we haven't acknowledged as a nation, and that's because I haven't officially come out and done my training, yeah. is that so a lot of my things I say have got energy in them, and then it'll just sweep over the nation, and you know? So because of my spiritual gift, the things I speak, or that people are, they're audible. That's my gift. I'm audible. Welcome to the Shirts Podcast. We are shedding light on issues. My name is Nyan Sochego. I'm with Nkwasanal Kocholo. Mwana Mtlakas. Mwana Mtlakas, how are you? I'm all right, man. No, I'm right, Mtlakas, man. It's Human Rights Day today. It is. Well, it will it not is, be it when is, this is, goes is, live, is, but it is, it is today. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, Do you feel like you have any rights, Mtlakas? Do you have rights at home? We are at home, at home. One, it's, it's a struggle. Eh? Yeah. It's a, uh, human rights, it's, it's a struggle. <laughs> I'm a right in, in general, because you have to fight for them every day. Yeah, so do at you fight for I, any I, rights? I've realized from that. From your wife, because what particular right do you fight for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a difficult one, <laughs> because, okay. No, what back again, because there hasn't been load shedding for the past two days. Yes, yes. And and I could iron my clothes, oh, yeah. I could uh, warm up food, I could make coffee yes, yes. and things like that. You could iron your your, your shirts. You know how I am about ironing your shiny shirts. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> they are not shining. This is the shirts podcast. Please do like, do subscribe. It is free. Plus, I met somebody and mm. about five people in fact at different locations. Yeah. And they said, Hey, of course, we've watched the, this podcast. I said, Do you subscribe? I said, No, can you subscribe? I don't want money taken from my account. I said, No, there's no money. No, involved. it's free. We Just subscribe. Free, it is yes, free. Yes. So we urge everybody to subscribe. <coughs> Today, Mr. Has of a powerhouse. A powerhouse have, indeed. Uh, in uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, a, a woman who sets the social media streets alive all the time. Mm. She says one word and the country goes. Insane. Yes. Yes. The country trends. <laughs> exactly. It trends. Yeah. Yeah. She's a social commentator. She is a poet. Uh, she's very colorful in as far as her character is concerned. And she says what she likes. Steve goes to say she writes what she like. She says what she likes. Yeah. And she does not hold back as far as her views about her country and everything else are concerned. Uh, we bring to you Usis Nunsikelelo Mazwai, one of my sister. Brother Ujan. I'm all right, madam. How are you? Welcome to the to the show. Thank you for podcast. having me, guys. I'm not used to shaking hands because yeah. of not only COVID, of COVID. but okay. men when they go to the toilet, they don't like to wash their hands. <laughs> <laughs> so our it's not space, something our, I enjoy our gender, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. yeah. It's there happened. she goes. She does not shake hands <laughs> because we don't <laughs> wash hands. She didn't waste a second. <laughs> yeah, a second, <laughs> yeah. No, also, another thing I wanted to correct was that today is Shopville Day. Yes, we don't want yes. to erase our history because we must always remember that our people were shot mm. in the back, yes. running away, 
Um, mm. That is something that our youth must remember that mm. when I last decide they mustn't yeah. get too comfortable, mm. we're still dealing with the same people, we're still fighting mm. the same battles. That's cool. Actually, we're going to come to that. I was going to ask you, do you mm. prefer Sharpeville Day versus Human Rights Day? Mm. And you are, you are going to actually unpack that, yeah. why you prefer Sharpeville Day over Human Rights Day mm. and why it was originally called Sharpeville Day. Mm. Is it because of politics and mm. at the time and, 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 and all of that? You know, with this rainbow nation and this white narrative that we all have to follow, it's very convenient and comfortable to allow Abelungu to forget what they did to us. Mm. And this is something that like the Jews never forget. We mm. never forget the Holocaust. So we should never forget apartheid. We should mm. never forget what happened to us. Um, Sharpeville Day was part of Mangali Sosobukwe's legacy. Mm. And we need to know that name. We yeah. need to know what he did for us and the burning of the past laws. We need to know that for us to move I mean, now we move so freely between Ekasi mm. and Santon, and, but in the past, you were not able to do that, you know? Mm. Mm. Uh, you had to have a passport, yeah. and you would be abused when you go there. You couldn't even go <laughs> clubbing in those areas. Not true, yes. So the yeah. life we live right now is completely mm. a blessing that rests upon the sacrifice mm. of so, so many of our people who mm. died. Yeah. So we must just never forget mm. the 69 people who died with gunshots on their backs mm. yeah tragically because yeah. usually takes us back uh, usual says uh, whoa, 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 whoa. you are way ahead of yourself there's a question he likes yeah. asking and and yeah. i see he's, 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 he's going there because yeah. i see you are ready to shoot <laughs> and tell us and, but, but uh, normally we, we like to do this in our in our in our uh, podcast to, to get to know a person behind the the social media trends uh, uh the, the the headlines who's uh who, who, who if you're to describe you okay know. so first of all i'm also a perfectionist and a bully and i like to yes. be bossy mm-hmm. i just want to say in future you should have your guest on this side yeah so that they face this one way they don't have to keep going like, oh, okay. like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so the he was born in september yeah. which okay. is the virgo it's the feminine spirit mm-hmm. um when you know your star signs uh, you know that Virgo is the virgin, represents the female sexuality. Mm. So um, I've got mm. many of those traits of just being a, quite a sexually expressive being, mm. <laughs> which I'm a sure social quite, being. I, I'm a social yes. being, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm a people for people. Mm. I've got those mothering instincts. So mm. it's me who's always shouting at the children of South Africa. Yeah, yeah. But I'm shouting at the children of South Africa, not because I hate you, but because yeah. I love you and I want better for you. Mm. So I've got the Earth Mother characteristics. Um, but I'm also mm. quite mischievous. Mm. So I balance yeah. that out. Okay. <laughs> mm. You know, yeah. sometimes you see that I is <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> And it is what it is, yeah. you know. Mm. But sometimes I'm also very gentle and very nurturing, wow. um, which I think you could see with mm. when lockdown first happened, um, I, I established a thing called Tutabuntu, okay. where we raised, collected food and electricity for people because I, I recognized that people would not be working, okay. therefore there would be no food wow. and therefore there'd be no electricity. So I started mm. using my fan base yeah. for those who have to start giving mm-hmm. to those who have, and it did so well. It even went across the borders. Wow. We were feeding people. As which which, which area? So I, was, okay, I was about to ask that. Yes, yeah, yeah. It, Zimbabwe, <laughs> all the neighboring wow. southern. Yeah. Yeah. They, if you just plug, if you go to hashtag Twitterbuntu, you'll yeah. see that a whole thing happened. You seem to tell us this is the site that, that we don't know about, about in secret. The soft, <laughs> the soft site about it. You know, tell us, she gets lambasted all the time on Twitter, yes. uh, specifically, and, and for such humanitarian yeah. uh, activism, yes. activists that she actually mm. gets up to, it's, it's the site that... It's a site that she, she, she should actually be appreciated. And it's something I don't usually see you talk about. I mean, you raise a lot of issues about anything else and, and all of that. And you don't seem to be bringing that side out. Is it something that is deliberate or is it because you're doing it just to contribute to society and not necessarily to get any fame? Exactly that. Hmm. Um, it's, I've, I feel like I've had a very privileged life. Hmm. Hmm. So there is got to give somewhere. Yeah. I've got to give somewhere. Yeah. And I always make sure. I mean, my whole career is just based on that. There's been so many 
pe- has a period um, sanitary towel drives, mm. school visits, you know, um, yeah. that is the basis and the foundation mm. of my creative brand. It's built on service, but it's just that <laughs> the other stuff uh, gets attention. <laughs> you say you say you have been privileged in, in, in life, and, and I wanted to know, because mm. in terms of growing up, where did you grow up, and the siblings you have, and, and, and the privilege you're talking about, is it based on the schools you went to, the upbringing, the parents, the life you've been exposed yes. to generally? It is based on everything you've said. Mm. Um, my parents were PAC leaders, mm. So and subfield them now. You know what I'm saying? Like I come from that. She's not going to let you make my little sub quiz like a style like that. Yeah, exactly. She has to defend it. Yeah. I come from. It's like if in America, I would be someone who has got parents from the Black Panther. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Well, mm. So mm. I've got that. That 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 thing. Mm. <laughs> um, my parents were academic and intellectual. Mm. So they were woke. They were conscious. They read a lot. So I grew up in a home where there were lots of books, and not only books, but African literature. Mm-hmm. People like Bobesi Head, Bonguki, mm-hmm. were names yeah. I knew in primary school, you know, mm-hmm. when rain clouds gather. I remember these titles mm-hmm. growing up. Mm-hmm. And then, so we grew up in quite a, my parents, because they were in the media and they're journalists, yeah. mm-hmm. they're quite open-minded, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. So, we come from a home where we had a voice. Yeah. Uh, we mm. could speak and express ourselves. Uh, we were advantaged enough to go to the best schools, actually, um, which I'm sure my poor dad feels like he wasted his money because now <laughs> I end up an artist. It became, it became a poet. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, fuck this private school yeah. education. I'm going to be a poet. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, talk, talk about that because why do parents look at it as a waste mm. when a child embarks on 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 art journey because mm. akomagli <laughs> okay <laughs> that is so why that is why now i sit i'm even embarrassed to look at my dad in the eye because mm. i'm like damn you were mm. right yeah snap okay so how do i get myself out of this art thing that i'm in now <laughs> <laughs> so your parents they wanted to be what uh, a typical doctor yeah engineer. you yeah. know yeah. just yes okay, okay. be some in society, yeah. a good standing citizen, mm. like I'm a great disappointment to him compared mm. to the other children, the other parents' children. Mm. I mean, you know, yeah. <laughs> how many are you at home? So, um, so originally there were six, we've got a late sister. Uh, my dad, I lost my mom, and my dad remarried, so I've I come from a blended family. So now there's five of us left it's two boys and three girls. No, oh, okay. So, and I'm near the top there. I'm the second born. Yeah, the second born. So, so, to give your older sister some trouble? Big time. <laughs> yeah. Big time, you know. But then I always have to humble myself later on because I need her. Mm. After giving her trouble, yeah. <laughs> then I'm like, oh, snap. Mm. Yo, I don't have money for this. And I'm like, hi, Ta. I'm so sorry about what happened last time. <laughs> yes, to pass on me. <laughs> exactly. Having a singing sister, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. and, 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 it must come with a lot of. Uh, Praise, I suppose. You and know, are you ever asked to sing, or at least yeah. expected to know how to sing? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, mm. well, you know, we're all musical, mm. and then I'm more the rap, yeah. um, element of the Mazwai sisters. Mm. But there's always an expectation to be Tandiswa, yeah. mm. which is like, oh my God, guys we cannot be the same person and mm. you know mm. um but we definitely celebrate her journey mm. but at the same time people need to understand that mm. we want to be ourselves yeah, yeah you know yeah but have you at some point felt the pressure that you somehow you're living under her shadow somehow did, did, did that i feel yeah. like south africa always wanted that for yeah. me mm. and was always trying to raise me mm. because mm. i'm so vocal yes. and i talk too much and i'm mm. so confident mm. so to make me shut up They'd be mm. like, you're in your sister's shadow. Yeah. But I think that I'm too much of a sunshine person and mm. too loud. Yeah, yeah. I can never be in anybody's mm. shadow. I don't think anyone can silence you. I don't, <laughs> that's the thing. I've always yeah, been yeah. like, okay, guys, mm. whatever suits you, mm. keep it moving, you know? So I've gotten over that. I'm also old mm. now. I'm in my 40s. Yeah. So I'm just mm. like, yo, man. Yeah. 
I'm just going to enjoy having this famous sister Love, and yeah. the perks it comes with and just ignore you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> has, has anybody from within your family, be it your father or your sisters, has anybody ever told you whatever you may have said on Twitter is too much? Yes, of Did course. Oh. Is there one specific thing oh. that you said and they said no, but no, 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 no. But come on, I'm jalo. I'm jalo. I'm jalo. I'm jalo. It's even a case where I'm like, leave me alone now. No. Hey. And I just block them all. Because <laughs> wow. I'm like, okay. our relationship's not going to work if you follow mm. my social media account. Yeah. I, I don't tweet for you. It's not your business. Leave me alone. Do you so deliberately there's fights about that. Tweet to prov- provoke somebody? No. Or do you generally just no. have issues which mm. you want to raise? Yes. And as a South yeah. African, you want to contribute to the broader yes. society. Yes. Mm. I'm just... It's just that what we haven't acknowledged as a nation, and that's because I haven't officially come out and done my training, yeah. is that so mm. a lot of my things I say have got energy in them, and then mm. it'll just sweep over the mm. nation, and you know? So because of my spiritual gift, the things I speak, or that people are, they're audible. That's my gift, I'm audible. Mm. So, once you get past that, once you're like, oh, guys, Nziki is actually a channel mm. and yeah. she's a custodian for these African things mm. and every generation has got their own, that's like this, their own klanya and yeah. it is what it is. We yeah. keep it moving. Because that's what Mbongi Yom Tonyama is. It's mm-hmm. somebody who the ancestors use mm. your, your voice as a vehicle. It, talking about spiritual genius, and, and I just, just want to touch on that. When did you realize you, mm. you, you have a... a gift mm-hmm. uh, and and you should embark on a spiritual journey and then what prompted that so i've always p- seen that things are a little bit weird for me and a bit exaggerated mm-hmm. and i had a bit more power in spaces that i couldn't explain like sometimes my friends would come partying with me and then obviously they'll experience my life from my point of view so literally like magical things <laughs> happen where you just like okay so what do we want guys okay it's what we need okay guys i'm gonna need one two three four five then we go out we get one two three four five so i've always seen that okay i can navigate things and and also i can see mm. so a lot of the time people can't see something and i'll just be like yo oh, Mm. Are you checking there? Then they're like, no, it's so nice. I'm thinking, what are you talking about? Don't be a hater. <laughs> and then later on, it plays out. And I was like, remember I said, <laughs> you know. So, I mean, we've even seen it on social media, that yeah. thing happened where yeah. I'm just like, hey, red flag. Then it was yeah. like, no, how dare you? You're such a hater. Yeah. You're so bitter. Then I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Mm. Then seven years later, they go, hey, she has, but Ntiki was, Ntiki said this, but mm. guys, remember the time? So... Twitter obviously really brought it to mm. me, to mirror me that, mm. okay, something else is happening here. Yeah. There is, you know, and sometimes I'll try to tweet something mm. and it just won't post. Mm. Mm. It just won't, then I know oh, I'm not allowed to post this. Cool, yeah. fine, <laughs> you know. And then sometimes I post something and it goes, why? And I didn't yeah. know anything about it. And you then never plan it, yeah. I didn't yeah. plan it, mm. Ganti. I've provoked something that mm. was happening in some other office corner or whatever, yeah. you know. Mm. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's just a very interesting, that's why I'm still on the journey, still learning how the gift works. Mm. But I know that um, people can lie to me, you know, they mm. can try to lie to me. And yeah. I'll be there going, yeah, yeah. Mm. But there's something they're going, okay, Nziki, this one, this is happening. Mm. And this is Even this. a boyfriend, <laughs> it must, it must yes. be tough. It must be yeah, <laughs> no, don't even yeah. try. <laughs> don't even yeah. try, because I'm just like, oh, okay. Because I'm like, baby, yesterday I yeah. dreamt that this, mm. this, this, this. So <laughs> no, 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 Vincent. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Um. So, I just want to go back to, I think when you said your, your up, upbringing mm. and, and, and your parents being intellectuals mm. and, and being you, I mean, a vocal person that you are mm. and, and, and not shying away from debates, do you think that somehow prepared, if you were born in a family that is not vocal, yeah. educated, and, and do you think that would have been different? You know, Do you think they had a contribution to, Definitely. to, to nature you? Into, do you into, know what's so interesting? Yeah. I mean, a lot has to be said <coughs> about my mother, Belete. Yeah. Um, she was iconic. It's just that we as South Africans have got a way of erasing mm. the yeah. contribution of women. So my mom was much more radical than my dad. She was like, mm. 
yo, take to the streets, guns yeah. blazing, where's the AK-47, yeah. <laughs> you know? And you think you take that from, <laughs> from here? Yeah. I'm definitely, I am yeah. my mother's daughter. I am, Belete, like... Mm. Even when I get into trouble yeah. with all the things I do, eventually mm. somebody goes, Ish, mm. this is Belete's child, guys, wow. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So... Mm. I mean, in time, we'll start yeah. unpacking who she mm. was and what she did. She was also very service mm. orientated. Um, she was also a journalist and very social activist mm. and worked with the Red Cross and mm. gender equality issues. Mm. So I am my mother. And I think, yes, I was born. I think the calling of my family yeah. is that because in different ways, we conscientize black people. Mm. We are about black consciousness. Mm. My father has done some iconic stuff in publishing also, you know. Um, he was one of the, he was the only journalist that Steve Biko would speak to. Oh, wow. So which speaks to the integrity and the yeah. principle of the man, you know. Mm. Um, my dad quit drinking 45 years ago. And I feel like that was a sacrifice that was literally mm. just for us. Mm. Because we grew up with a sober, parent mm. and not many people have got that privilege wow. it's like really 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 mm. rare mm. so just the principles and the type of home i come from is very very humble mm. and very intellectual and very yeah no they, they they're not there for the applause it's like yo fam we came here our calling is here Black consciousness, yeah, now we've got to make sure that the black people are sharp, go do your thing. Mm. So it's like that. But it's not spoken. Yeah. I'm just saying spiritually, that's what it feels Speaking like. Speaking about being woke, and, and I think you're a big fan of that in, 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 in no, the black tweet. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And, and Tiki's known for not holding her words, and, yes. and, and she, you know. I just want to find out, uh, do you think we're not woke enough as, as black people in the country? We're not Definitely. ready to discuss a lot of issues that we need to, to face on. Definitely. I mean, black people are in a lot of pain, especially because of the economic situation, you mm -hmm. know? So mm -hmm. it's very frustrating to have a ceiling and not yeah. to be able to go beyond that ceiling mm -hmm. and to have one income mm -hmm. taking care of so many people, you mm -hmm. know? We're depressed, gosh, yeah. gosh. So... In that depression, we are not being... Because with your depression, you could either transmute the energy and yeah. start building, or you can mm. self-destruct. And I kind okay. of feel as if we're self-destructing because mm. of the pain we're feeling, because mm. we have fixated on materialism, which is mm. sad, mm. because if we actually went back to our own ways, mm. we'd realize that half the pressure that we've put ourselves under, mm. it's mm. unnecessary. We don't need Louis Vuitton. Yeah. We don't need a BMW. You don't, mm. It's not needs. Mm. All we really need is our land mm. so that we can have our house and build our food and, and grow our food and keep it moving. Oh. What, what, what do you think causes that? You are <coughs> the, the, the materialism and, and the, the, the fact that we believe in Louis Vuitton, we believe in BMWs, we believe in everything expensive such that we will take our last money mm. because... Uh, a lot of people are buying these brands. It's not only the rich. Mm. It's, it's us with no money. You take your last cent. Yeah, you take a whole loan, eh? Just Ex to, exactly. Yeah. What do you think causes that? Uh, That's a that low self-esteem. Mm. It's a low self-esteem. We've never, as black people, addressed what apartheid or colonialism did to England was it. Mm. You know, so where white people diminished and de demonized us mm. and made us feel like we are the dirt. Mm. We haven't come out for them and said, oh my God, you're beautiful. Mm. Oh, black is, we haven't gone through a phase of black is beautiful. Mm. We just went, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Mm. Keep it moving. Mm. So in our minds, we're still trash because that's what we've been told we are. Mm. Mm. So we're still trying to prove that I'm not trash. I can mm. wear Louis Vuitton. Actually, mm. I'm better than, you know? Mm. So once we know our own worth as black people, that we don't need validation from mm. Louis Vuitton, mm or Valencia or whatever these labels are. Yeah. You don't, you know, we are, the fact that we place our Louis Vuitton on a higher yeah. pedestal than mm -hmm. Omama who make the beadwork mm -hmm. speaks to our low self-esteem. Yeah. We hate ourselves. Why is it that Omama who make Obalancio are more important than Omama who make beadwork, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. 
So it's just a, a, a situation where we need to rebuild ourselves and our confidence as black people and move away from Stratcom and Abedlungu choosing our heroes for us. Because mm. the heroes that Abedlungu choose for us are the ones that are white. Mm. Mm. True. Who, who is responsible for this in terms of the direction we need to take in order to reclaim who we are and prioritize things that matter to us, as especially the young generation? We are the kind of people mm. who believe in leadership, mm. be it political leadership, be it church leadership, yeah. Be it spiritual yes. leadership, where a country that believes in being led, meaning if a leader yeah. does not prioritize a particular mm. direction of life, we will not go there. So, in your view, who is responsible for instilling and inculcating a culture that says this is what we should prioritize mm. and not this down with plush, down with materialism, focus on spending your money wisely? Well, if we had a proper government of leadership, they obviously would have, like, I mean, in China, it, I would encourage your viewers to look up the Chinese revolution, mm. where they had a leader who said, okay, out with all this Western things. Let's mm -hmm. just focus and close this land and just produce our own things and focus on our own culture and our own traditions. Mm. The reason China today is the leading producer and manufacturer mm. is because of that era. Mm where now they could work on their own strengths. Mm -hmm. And now they come into the world mm -hmm. more powerful. Mm -hmm. We haven't worked on our own strengths. Mm -hmm. We are relying on others' strengths at the moment. So until we, in our homes and our family structures, decide, we'll say, okay, guys, Africans are based on family. And these are the values us Africans have. Where white people said beauty is this weave, and BBL or whatever, in African culture, to, now our form of beauty mm. is actually being compassionate. Mm. It's being a person who is of service. Yeah. It's being somebody on Ubuntu. Mm. So we so start it's, it's having those based, values. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you know, so mm. once we, yes, once mm. we base ourselves on African values mm. and move away from the West, because it's the Western values that are killing us. You know, this is very true, and yeah. it's actually said. You look at, 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 at political parties, because our, those are our leaders. Mm -hmm. You look at, at representatives of the people. Mm -hmm. You look at time when political parties are canvassing for support. Things such as Ubuntu mm -hmm. don't come mm -hmm. out in a, yeah. a, a sharply highlighted mm -hmm. manner. Mm -hmm. They are not brought to the fore. Mm -hmm. and, 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 I mean, which minister have you ever, or any government official, mm. have you ever listened to speaking about Ubuntu, yeah. speaking about the values, because even what was attempted mm. as a moral regeneration, mm. it's something which just, you know, died a natural mm. death. Yeah. We, we, we don't appreciate that. It's, 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 yeah. it's, it's a sad thing, and it, it takes me to that. I wanted to find out, as a follow-up, I mean, you spoke about China, and, and I think you, for, for, for us to go and find out how, mm. how the, the, the leadership there changed the entire... Mm. Uh, structure to make sure that people are, are working, people are juxtaposed mm. that to, to our country, uh, you know, and, and you spoke about us going to our own values, African mm. values, and, and, and in democracy, people will say China, there's no democracy, but we've embraced democracy. How do you find that African values within democracy? Um, yeah. You know, Ubuntu is about a democracy, is it mm. not? Because it allows you yeah. to be yourself and to mm. allow other mm. people to be human. Mm. I mean, how the Chinese did it is that they literally had a Bible. Mm. They had their little red book and they had one leader and they yeah. all move in one direction. Mm. So yeah. we, our mm. values, they, they intersect like okay. um, amongst yes. all the mm. nations. Mm. So it's not like mm. you're gonna find Bo to Nobu and do the same yes, thing. The same mm. thing. Yes, so yes, yes. We also need our little black yeah. book of African spirituality of, mm. okay, here are the laws that we're mm. all going to move towards mm. now. And this way, we're, we're all moving this way now. So yeah. I, because we've got so many black factions, mm. it works against us, mm. you know? Mm. So, so we don't have a common purpose as a country, I suppose. Yeah. I think that politics mm. are actually mm. the, the danger. Because politics break people up into different colored t-shirts mm. 
and all those people have got brown skin. So, mm. yeah. If, if, if politics are a danger and governance in this country comes mm. about as a result of politics, I mean, next day in the elections, we are likely going to have independent candidates contesting mm. because it was declared unconstitutional that they are not allowed to contest at a provincial and, and, I'm glad. and national level. Mm. Now, with current complaint, uh, you're not the first person I hear complain about uh, the, the kind of politics we have, the number of political parties, which then mm. bring about different sections and factions of society. Mm. Yeah. With independent candidates, where Unzi can say, Mm -hmm. Now, how do we get rallied behind the common objective yeah. when we are allowed to sort of rise up as individuals and small groups of political parties to contribute to society? Something which is not That's why time. I'm saying politics are a danger because mm -hmm. uh, traditionally we had our own traditional leadership systems, you know? Yes. And you wouldn't have one person. Mm -hmm. We governed in yeah. groups in yeah. the different areas. Yeah. So this centralized thing where you've got one president mm. running over 60 million people is not mm. realistic mm. because our problems are not the same in yeah. each section. Yeah. So for me, I really feel as if we have to congregate in our communities mm. and that's where our leadership is going to start from, you know, from the grassroots. Mm. I don't know, it has to be a bottom-up approach as opposed to top-down. You say you like the idea that independent candidates will be allowed to contest. Uh, mm. Are we going to see and see keep saying, you know what? <laughs> Why not? Are you, are, not? Are you available? Are you available? <laughs> <laughs> I am available. <laughs> if you need a substitute, yeah. I am available. Yeah, mm. um, we are long overdue for a, a president. Mm. I hope before I come in, at least we'll have a Busiwem Kwebane or something. Mm. Because. Um, mm. I still have a lot to learn. I'm still young. Mm. Uh, I still want to be irresponsible still. So I yeah. just want to... Like talk nonsense yeah, on still, Twitter. Yeah, yeah, I'm still enjoying that yeah. thing, yeah. you know? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, but I do feel mm. as if we are long overdue. I think that we would be much further. Mm. Like, uh, Advocate Nkwebani, I really... Nyam Konzela, where wow. I'm just like, guys, mm. this is... You've seen this person's work. You've mm. seen them in trouble. Uh, mm. you've seen how she's cool and calm yeah. in troubled waters and that's the kind of leader that you would want you know mm. um, she's got a voice she's got principles and integrity which is not much I can say for the men mm. male counterparts mm. so um, I'm ready for a female president and you think we are ready for a female president I As personally yeah. am mm. but I know that South African men are very mm. insecure okay. so mm. They are um, They are very. They've been indoctrinated with the men. The man is the head. Yeah. The woman is the neck, which is Christianity, which is not yeah. our thing. Our yeah. history has got women in leadership. We come from matriarchal systems where we were led by women. That's why we were so successful. And since we haven't had female le leadership, yeah. that was when we've lost everything. Yeah. So until. I don't know if it has to do with mm. what the white male has done to the black male and made him feel inferior, mm. and therefore we are to know mm. when a woman yeah. steps up. Mm. But there is some internal work that African men need to do in order for us to move forward, in order for them to be comfortable and realize it's not a threat if a woman is a leader. Mm. It's actually, we can keep it moving. It's not such yeah. a big deal. Mm. <laughs> you do, know? do you think women believe in women leadership? I think that women hate each other because mm. we have been, uh, we've never been celebrated and there's only room for one woman at the table. Mm. So naturally you're gonna hate each other. Mm. So if there's a table full of, for table for 10, the men will take nine seats. Obviously, the women are going to fight if there's only one, one, one seat for women. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. So it's a set up. The system has set up women to hate each other. Mm. But if it was equal, then mm. we wouldn't have that dynamic. We wouldn't be in competition with each other because there'd be more than enough seats for everybody. Yeah. We have a biggest political party in, in, in South Africa, yes. which has the oldest liberation struggle mm. in Africa. Struggle in credentials. They are battling, and that's why I asked that question, by the way. 
they are battling to elect a woman president. Mm. Every candidate who tries to say, you know what, mm. like fails flat. Yeah. Women there vote for men. And that's why I'm asking, yeah. do you think women are it's ready? It's toxic. I mean, that's what I'm saying. There's only room for Nkosa Zanazu mm. or only room for Lindy Sisulu. Mm. Obviously, the women are going to be bitter. Yes. You know? It's like, no, I also exist. Mm. So why should she, why, why her when I also exist? So for as long as we have a culture of only having space for just a little a touch of women, mm. women are going to have conflict. Obvious. But it's like, what's stopping them from saying, for a president, we have a candidate. For a deputy president, we have a candidate. For SG, we have mm. a candidate. Because there's no prescription that says, yes. look, uh, we, for a we, woman leader, only this space is available. My question is, why are they not themselves? No, because we own? come from a very patriarchal culture. Mm. We come from a culture where that it says that you have to mm. humble yourself to men mm. to survive in spaces. Mm. So that's why you will have patriarchy princesses so all the insti time. Institutional, uh, patriarchy. It's institutional. Yeah. Yeah. Women have to twirl for men mm. to get into spaces. Mm. Do you think? women demonstrate readiness to lead men instead of other women? Wait, say that again? I'm saying, do you think women mm. demonstrate readiness and more willingness to lead men instead of leading other women? Do you think women are well, ready that's a very interesting question, yeah. to lead <laughs> other women? Um, mm. Like I say, I feel as if there has not been a culture mm. that has been instilled that it's called equity, actually, mm. when the environment allows for mm. women mm. to be in the... So it's for women. It's not just to, mm. as a quota, to fill the yes, quotas. Yes, yes, yes. The environments actually allow for women. Mm. So we haven't been socialized enough mm. to even think about women leadership, mm. to, you know... Because um, Dr. Kanye-Field said something, such a profound comment about how Cyril Ramaphosa really did not have to take the presidency. Yes. When he saw that he had a woman up against him, for the sake of the movement, he could have set history and put his backing behind Ngoza Zanazuma that time. Mm -hmm. And ANC would have had its first female president, which have, would have shaken up mm -hmm. even the voting quotas, mm -hmm. yeah, ANC as an organization, because... It would have appealed to the other to women who are not necessarily in NC, but now they feel represented, you know? So it just comes back to men, and that's mm. a thing that yeah. men have it, to work through. You know what I'm trying to say, say Lundle, let's say had all women in the ANC, all of them, had said, you know what, Ramaphosa, Lendo Yakoba of by President now are seeing Geniti now. We are not going to be, it's, yeah. it's our time now. Do you think he would have won if no single woman of the voting delegates voted for him? That's a tricky one mm. um, because anybody can get bought and uh, <laughs> the brown envelope, yeah. you know, yeah. everybody is vulnerable to the brown envelope. Mm. But I just do think that it's a, it's a great sadness and mm. tragedy mm. that after 100 years of mm. your liberation organization, mm. And you know that it's always women in the forefront in mm. the streets. Mm. Mm. I mean, you even denied a whole Winnie Mandela mm. a presidency mm. because of your toxic masculinity. Mm. There's some kind of reflection that has to happen within men yeah. in the ANC. Men must step back, Mr. Yeah. I think, I think it's, it's more than just men st uh, uh, stepping back, but I think it's more the question of women coming uh, forward. forward. If I, wanted I feel to like ask you women that question, do come forward. Yeah, I mean, yes, look at yeah. our um, who's raising the yeah. single parent households. Mm. It's women, yes. It's women. Yes, 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 yes. Which women is my, are working. My, my next question to say, people in a, in a, in a body politics, you know, um, there's a lot of, you've got a, a lot of following, and you're saying things that a lot of people wish they could say, but they don't have guts to say it. Mm. Oh, you know, people are asking, you know, why aren't you in a body politics, be, being active in, in informal politics? You're, well, I just know that yeah. I'm also... People oh, you're waiting for the right time. Yeah. yeah, I think the yeah. right time has to happen to me because mm. I've learned that people find my energy quite threatening. Mm. So, but so yeah, yeah, when yeah. I'm, I'm in the space. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I guess the older yeah. I'm getting yeah. and showing my qualities, they'll get more relaxed and more trusting. Mm. 
I mean, leadership is a journey yeah. with people. You don't just wake up one day mm -hmm. and then, yeah. because then easy come, easy go. I don't want to be a Musima sure. and Mani yes. type, you know. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I actually want to stay yeah. in yeah. leadership the, when I get there. Because people would be like, no, guys, mm. we've been with Ziki. We've seen her do this. We've mm. seen her fight this. We've seen, you know, yes, it yes. must be. Yeah. So I'm okay with people making me work hard for it. Wow. What does that say, though, about the youth? If you are willing to wait and, and maybe get some experience or get to demonstrate that you are indeed ready and, and the clock is ticking, and w w when will we be able as a country to get young people? Because that is often what you've just said, is often what is said by people who don't want youth anywhere near leadership. Say, there are those things you said, no, you're still Ageism. young, man. Yes, exactly. Now, doesn't that then sort of uninspire the youth to say, you know what, then it means so let's go to school as well, but who's a spider? No, while I'm waiting, doesn't mean I'm not doing anything. Mm. I'm still showing you, good day, guys, this is what's going to be like when I'm in leadership. Mm. You must know that nobody's going to be allowed to wear a weave. Yes. <laughs> you must know that you yes. absent dads yeah. are going to have to be accountable, mm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So over the years, I'm showing you who, to who I am, what's mm. going to happen when you choose me. Mm. So I, I don't think that I'm just sitting waiting. I'm busy working and fighting you off when yeah. it's time to fight you yeah. guys. I'm there showing yeah, you to her, here's my yeah. strength, guys. Yeah. Okay, here's my compassion, guys. Mm. So by the time I'm like in my well, maybe 50s or something, mm. they'll be like, okay, you know, we've got Auntie Ziki yeah. and yes. yeah. we are, we're going to be fine. There was a match mm. uh, yes. led by the EFF, mm. joined by political parties, mm. uh, ETM, PAC, mm. I don't see PAC. Yeah, PAC was there as well. Mm. I don't know which PAC. Yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> exactly. I also don't know which yeah. PAC it was. And PAC. Yeah, I, saw, I saw one, one of the PACs. One, one of the PAC <laughs> was there. Mishakaz. Did you join the match? I did not join the What's match. What's your view about the match? Mm. Okay, so, and I said this even before, mm. um, that I don't want to be part of a, a, a well, I don't mm. know if Nikons are a revolution that they see coming. Mm. So the fact that they could see us coming, I was like, ah, mm. man, this is not going to be it. Mm. And if we really want the president to go, we've got to be serious and we've got to speak a serious language about him leaving. Mm. And, you know, I just felt like it, it, it was one of those, just a, like it feels like, yeah, we're going to sort you out. We're mm. going to sort you yeah. out, but from the other side of the fence, you know. Mm. So I'm somebody who's legitimately not happy with the presidency mm -hmm. and I would love for a changeover. So I just feel like you're playing with my feelings when you just do a... I just feel like EFF was puffing its chest out with yeah. its numbers. Because mm. now it's the mm. next day. And yeah, I mean, it's back to normal. You know? Yeah. So I'm just like, yeah, mm. okay, we know you've got big numbers. And yeah. That's what you want to show us. Yeah. But we've in fact, in fact some might say you, you sort of like romanticize the idea of revolution. Yes. You, you sort of like... Yes. You know. And I wanted to ask you yes. this. Yes, it was very curated. Did, did you want... Do you, do you foresee... A revolution coming in this country I and what will that sadly. be based on yeah unfortunately i don't mm. because the good blacks are very comfortable okay the blacks who speak english with a twang mm. they with their are, bmws oh and guys mm. they the are pass. not on the same page as us mm. at all i think you have a bit of a twang in class. <laughs> no i don't i don't, I don't. <laughs> so i mean i was yeah. somewhere where they disc the, the one mom is like, ladies, are you going to the march tomorrow? Mm. Then they were like, what march? Mm. Then the mom is like, remember EFF? Oh, no, I'm just going to work from home. Hey, are you going to work from mm. home, babe? Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to work okay. from home. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so that's the conversation. And take Instagram uh, photos. And, and, and so I'm just yeah. like, there are people who are speaking about taking to the streets, and there are people who are working from home, babe. Mm. So if you think the march... Uh, was not necessarily a good idea in as far as how it came about. 
uh, because it came about from a political point of view. Mm. It's sponsored by EFF, mm. which should be seen wanting to drum up numbers to rally behind it mm. to win elections next mm. year. Who do you think should lead a revolution that will take this country maybe a better direction than it's currently? A, a real revolution will come from the streets. Mm. I don't think it comes from the politicians. Mm. The politicians are very comfortable. Mm. You know, even the ones who were like, I'm going to work from home. They were like, no, you must remember, hey, because Gigi is one of us. Mm. Gigi lives here <laughs> in Sandton with us. Yes, so, yes, you yes. know. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think politicians are not genuine? No, because uh, why should they be? Mm. This is just a paycheck. Mm. It would be genuine if civil servants were paid the least. Mm. Then you would attract people who genuinely want to serve. Mm. So if we just cover the basics and you mm. just got 10,000, that's it. Mm you know, mm. then we would attract yeah. true leaders who are not there for the money. Mm. But for as long as people are getting up, I'm a hundred thousand. Yeah. Oh, babe, they'll go with whatever needs to be said. They'll mm. tell us to vaccinate. They'll tell us whatever they need to do for the hundred thousand to continue. Yeah. What do you think is missing in South Africa? Why do you think we are in a space that we are in now where everything is collapsing? We're basically in tatters. Greed. Mm. Greed is the problem. The mm. comrades' greed. Mm. So is, is it only they, towards they, it's uh, leaning towards the comrades? What about business? What no, about, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is that the comrades enable white mm. corporate South Africa to, okay. to get away with keeping the economy. Mm. So for as long as the comrades are the gatekeepers and bash up, mm. then they're the buffer between our enemy. Wow. It's, 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 it's bad because yeah. if, if you look at greed and how it manifests mm. itself mm. and we keep hoping that from the very same people who are greedy, we are going to have a direction. Mm. From uh, how then do you advise? Like Take down the salaries. Mm. You mm. take down the salaries of government employees, mm. of especially the leaders and the mm. ministers, whatever. Because mm. so they're, they're not really on the ground working. Mm. Mm. They're just the faces of. Mm. There's no need for them to be rich. But will taking down the salary solve the problem? I picture a situation like as you take down the salary of a minister, mm -hmm. the salary of a president, the salary of a MEC, yes. the salary of MMC, the salary of everyone in the yes. political yeah. leadership space in, 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 in administration. Mm. What does that do? Yes, the salary is low, but these are the same people who are involved in tender approvals and things like that. Won't it just exacerbate corrupt activities? Well, they'll say, okay, I don't get the money I'm supposed to get. I'll give uh, you what I intend, and what I'll give me I money. hear you, but does that not mean that the tender processes need to be transparent? Hmm. Should yeah. there not be a database somewhere where all of us can go check what tenders hmm. out and it's open who, who's everyone. pitching yes. for that tender, who won it and how? Hmm. We're in the information tech in this uh, era now. Hmm. So you can have a database where you capture all that data and mm. it's clear to us, we go to a website, mm. so which tenders are out, who got it, and how much, and even tenders are supposed to say yeah. how the budget went. Mm. Mm. Why is there no transparency with mm. that? Which, mm. how, mm. how was this budget spent? So it's the lack of transparency that makes... It's the, the lack of transparency. Nihao Mshagas was on a strike recently. And yeah. obviously, the common denominator is that they wanted more money. The and these are government officials. What's your view on them then? You know, the people on the ground should be getting paid. Mm. Cool. Okay. Yes. So even, it's even traffic, it's politicians. Cool, 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 cool. cool. It's I the politicians, you. the mouthpieces. Yes. That must have got a small 10%. Mm, mm, mm. The workers should be getting paid because they're working. Mm. Oh, okay. I wanted to ask him, are you a feminist? I don't, <laughs> that word is a very is it loaded. loaded. Yeah, yeah, it's yes. loaded. Yes. I'm a woman who is for women mm. okay. and people. I'm just yeah. a woman for people. But, but you hate I'm men. Going, you know, if I want yeah, to ask I'm that, going I don't know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> do I feel like I hate men? Yeah. <laughs> no, what to do? Yeah. <laughs> Why would I hate men? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Like, do you hate men? Do I hate just men? got called to a podcast by men. If yeah. I hated men, I would have said no, thank you. Okay. Yeah. So you have no issues with men? Yeah. No, but I'll call you to order for your mm, bullshit. Mm, mm, mm. And then you want the interest of women advanced, obviously. So, and you feel that does not necessarily make you a feminist. So you wouldn't describe yourself as a feminist. I'm just for gender equality. Yeah. I'm just for everybody having space to be themselves. Mm. 
I'm thinking how to develop a thick skin because I'm as I can tell you for free. Mm. Um, has got one of the thickest I think skins. Yes, and, yes, and yes. crocodile skin. Crocodile or double ply of crocodile <laughs> yes, skin. Yes, yes. <laughs> and with with a lot of hate and, and dragging on, on Twitter, how do mm. you insulate yourself well, against that? I haven't that? had much of a choice, yeah. I don't think. Yeah. So I've mm. had to develop it. Mm. It's not like I could stop everybody and whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I had to be like, okay, this is not gonna. Mm. I'm not gonna, yeah. we're gonna have to learn not to give this power. Do you sometimes when you see these tracks or drawls on you switch your phone and go to your room and cry and, and no, and, and <laughs> no, mm. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. I put yeah, on my phone. Get I go hectic. Yeah. Do whatever mm. I want to go do. I put on. I do whatever. I, my mm. my happiness is not reliant on a bunch of strangers wow. online. Yeah. <laughs> Are you deliberately <coughs> provocative? There's a picture, I'm sure, I think this is recent, man. Yeah. If not last month, a month before. Mm -hmm. You posted yourself, you are, mm -hmm. if there's something called semi-naked, almost... Next to a river. Yes. In a swimming costume. Yes. How do you guys and want me to be dressed no, next no, no, to no, a river? No, no, I want to ask because you were, uh, you know, you were taken to task. People said all sorts of things there mm. and, and, and all of that. So, in your view, you don't think you were being provocative? To them because they felt why like this and they were doing all sorts of things no they can take pictures mm. of themselves at the river if they mm. want to mm. Mm. like why are you so touched by me <laughs> taking a picture yes. of myself at a river yes, 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 lying yes, yes, down yeah. with it out of top mm. next to a river exactly mm. exactly like wow that's like you being upset at me mm. for being inside the swimming exactly pool. exactly like so I you just, didn't feel that you were, no. in fact you feel they were unnecessary mm. I think that some there's a, sometimes a bit of jealousy because yeah. in Pilagam Nand, I mean, <laughs> and, <laughs> and you're happy, very, very yeah. much. Yeah. 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 So sometimes that's triggering. Yeah. Yeah. How dare you? Mm. Mm. So mm. I'm just like, mm. yeah, wow. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. 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 now if it's a wow, could be Like, I'm not stopping you, you know. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We can all do ourselves. That's the sector that the man, isn't it? Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Yes, no, definitely we are. Yes. I didn't go deeper, and, and I feel I should, Mr. Mm. When you talk about your spiritual journey, Uktwasa. Mm -hmm. mm. Is, is, is often viewed mm. as something that has become fashionable. Mm. And that's why I asked, when did you realize? Mm. And, and, and the journey itself is, is, is the process that you go through. Like, would you say, like, for instance, yourself, mm. you went through the process of Uktwasa exactly, or you've discovered your spiritual understanding and you are following as you are guided through. Yes. Okay. Yes. So it's that. It's the second not one. Not that Utibene no mto Uktwasa sayo. No. And we am not, all, not all callings all need Uktwasa, ne? Mm. And Uktwasa is actually a process going through a first process of self-discovery. Yes. That's what Uktwasa means. It means I'm blocking everything out. I'm going to learn myself. Mm. So different ancestors work differently. I mean, I swear to God, Mm. My ancestors are not going to make me such a loud mouth and then I'm going to need someone to teach me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are very capable. Mm. So they talk to me directly and I mean, it's working. Mm. It's working. Um, I can feel my things and I, you know, I'm going to have my Ndumba soon and start mm. um, counseling properly soon. I can feel. Mm. But I mean, I, I also need to make sure that I'm clean and I'm mm. pure and I've done all the healing work yes. that's needed for other people to come to me, for me to be able to be like, okay, I'm a safe space for you. Okay, just, just, so. just one last one, because, and I promised to ask this earlier, why do you think the ANC led government decided to call it Human Rights Day and not Chuckville Day? Again, it's um, to erase the history it's to make Abelungu feel comfortable because when we point and call it Chopville Day, mm. it brings attention to the politics. Mm. And I don't feel like ANC, I feel like ANC is very protective mm. and it coddles whiteness. Mm. So they don't come from, a, they don't have an Afro agenda. Mm. So I just think it's just the safe thing, thing that you do. The, it's a euphemism. Oh, okay, cool. You are bold. Thank you you. Are, you have your own views and all of that. Uh, just last one, last one, last one, last one. What advice do you want to give a young person, somebody who needs direction, 
who needs guidance, who's probably unsure about who they are. Please don't do drugs. Please don't do drugs. That's just the main thing. A lot of people, we came through an era in the entertainment industry where they made like cocaine a cool thing, like it's not such a big deal. It is a big deal. You'll be a grown up stuck on this thing and your life will be stuck. They don't tell you that part. So for me, it's just about the drugs. Don't get tempted. Yeah. Try to be sober. Mm. Don't drink all the time. Mm. You know, just try to stay sober. So drugs and alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. That's a wrap. Yeah. With that mm. words, thank you, Sister Ziki, for thank embracing you. us. Thank you. Yeah, that's not too handshake. Thank you. Don't think We hope to see your face on a ballot paper <laughs> very soon. Yeah.